Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to my favorite show, Pop Culture, because there's just so much to make fun of. Mark Cuban, after 16 years on Shark Tank, is saying, see you later. You think of all the deals that they got to see of uh, being on Shark Tank. Nice little deal. All right. You kill a buck, you get a proposal. This hot chick killed a buck, and right after shooting the buck, her fiance asked her to marry, and she said yes. That's the way you do it in Nebraska. The Earth's magnetic field, they're concerned about it, could even flip. It apparently protects us from radiation and a bunch of other things. Just think if it flipped. Do we go upside down, Jamie Spinley? Do you know? I can do what? Are you a man of science or faith? Uh, science. All right. This Australian model. You know, she's all dolled up, fake duck lips, the whole bit. You know, you know every, every rich woman of her age looks like this. Yeah. I mean, would you trade your Anna in for this chick? No. Good answer. I wouldn't trade my wife either. Um, but anyway, bottom line is this Australian chick, 117 reasons why she wants to be child free. Holy cow. You know, I, you, I've always d said this, you know, when you play the comparison game in life, Oprah Winfrey doesn't have any children. It's kind of sad. Well, this Aussie model's not going to have any either. Wouldn't it be hysterical if she got pregnant accidentally? All right. Covered this in sports, but it needs to be covered here. Veronica Rajek is throwing herself now at Kelsey Caught him a hump. And we want to know what all the Swifties think about this. <laughs> Moving in on your, your woman's man. We'll see what happens. Ringo Stahl and his all-star band. This is kind of funny. They decide to announce their uh, tour for 2024. It's all in Las Vegas and Mexico. It's like, why did you announce this? It isn't like they're coming. I said, oh, they, maybe they're going to come near here. No, it's Vegas and Mexico. Come on, Ringo, get out in the bat a little bit more. Stephen Colbert has missed a few. He's going to miss a few through a medical emergency. Let's just hope it's serious. <laughs> I hate this guy. All right, Linda Evangelista. This supermodel right here says, no more dating, no more sex. She's done with it all. What do you think about that, Jamie Spinley? Sad. Would you date her? If I was single, yes. All right. <laughs> Thanks for your honesty. Eric McCormick from Will and Grace, his wife's dumping his ass. <laughs> Getting divorced after 25 years. Sorry, Eric. And this was wild. A tied groom goes bonkers. Kills his wife, kills her family, killed four freaking people. What the hell? What do you think about that? You should have you should have vetoed this, um, Josh Wentz, the producer. We have funny stuff on pop culture. Why the hell did I put a murder on pop culture? Maybe she was a man. <laughs> what? Maybe she was a she-man. She-man, maybe so. Maybe he found out she had a willy whacker. I got a funny story about this. Maybe this is going to become a good little segment here. My brother who worked on a railroad as an engineer says he had a buddy that picked up a chick, uh, thought it was a chick, kissing her, making her out, everything out, reached down. Oh, my God. How do you get over that? That trauma, I would never get over it. Because, you know, there's that old expression, one shoot, mm, you're mm. So I, 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 I think I would commit suicide. I would be embarrassed to tell anybody. You're right. I would definitely not tell. Well, I would have, it'd be so disgusting. I'd have to tell you, mate, my mates. All right, this is the Bulldog. I know we went off the rails, but sometimes that makes good radio or TV or podcast or whatever the hell this is. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.